how are you today we are going to see the species uh, one model which is based on the token to vector so it's the token to vect model and i am going to give you the details its principle of working then its uh, architecture then what is the basic deep learning theory behind it and how it's working so specifically for that token to vector is nothing but which converts your sentence into words and words into the tokens and tokens is nothing but it's in the numeric format and it's used for various types of uh, nlp models or natural language preprocessing models and specifically i am talking about the name entity recognition type model so i will going to give you all those architecture so for name entity recognition you in the spacy model pipelines it's a pipeline and um, in that pipeline basically you require two components first one is the talk to vector it's nothing but the model and another one is the nar nar means name entity recognition and it will going to give you which words or which sentences belong to which category so in the token to vector it consists of basically uh, four parts and those parts are consist of various formats such as it consist of uh, four layers i will divide those layers first one is the embedding layer do you, means we know embedding for word embedding we use the various methods such as one hot encoding count vectorizer then tf idf term frequency inverse document frequency also best one is the predictive modeling word to vector glows and now recently comings and the spacy model using it's a multi hash multi hash embedding multi hash embedding so it's the advance of word to vector and also it's using the blurred embedding method blurred embedding so it will it has a some advantages as compared to the word vector that it will going to remember last span it has advantages of remembering cosine similarities then cementing mean, meanings of the words then second part consist of the encoding after embedding there is encoding must be done and because of encoding it will remember uh through the attention mechanism self attention mechanism it will remember uh which words come after another word or what is the position of that word so in the encoding it's a large vast one process there are types of encoder decoder and transformers are also using that one so in the encoding what happens whatever tokens are embedding created by words it passes towards the encoding and in the encoding it will going to create some layers such as it will going to give each token two numbers each token of word it will going to give two tokens such as feed forward token and back forward token so it will going to use either bidirectional bidirectional rnl or uh, lstm so bidirectional recurrent neural network by reading the forward of the sentence and also by reading the backward of the sentence the model the encoder actually give the right number of tokens to the given word and it create two tokens based on the backward and forward meaning of that sentence so that is the magic of encoding so it can be done by using the bidirectional recurrent neural network or large short term memory network and once those tokens created those tokens are uh, stored in the one form of tuple and it is considered as a one token based on each word so that's how that actually the meaning of a particular word can be stored in a particular uh, token after that encoding there is a process of attention uh, its attention mechanism self attention you can say or uh, like other 
so here actually a cell partition or mask can be given to the particular word and model will try to figure out does that word is uh, placed at the right position of the particular uh, sentence or not if not then model will try to preview another right one word and if the word is placed correctly then it will going to feed that word into the, its memory and last one is the class prediction so here actually a prediction of your entity happens so how actually it's working because we are not providing uh, any label data so it's based on the clustering so here actually two types happens uh, one is the entity one is the token clustering and another one is the entity clustering in the token clustering by using various types of clustering method model creates the clusters and based on the tokens numbers or uh, numbers vectors it uh, creates the groups of various token vectors but here are uh, some disadvantages that if uh, every time there is a new tokens happens and every time that token has a different numbers so how model can decide which token belong to which uh, cluster so instead of token clustering there is another method comes and it's a entity clustering and in that entity clustering what happen model will going to create the clusters based on the entity and also there is a issue happening about what about the non clusters which does not contain anything so for that there is a empty cluster will be provided and which token that empty number has been given and suppose if that word is if a specific entity is not belong to the specific cluster then that uh, entity belong to the that empty clusters i think there is some noise issue is happening but and in this way model will going to create all those predictions and based on that it will going to give you a right one output for the multi classification or text classification or name entity recognition so i have detailed in the, some depth how that token to vector model is working if you have any doubt please feel to free ask me thank you bye bye